number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I am your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show by taking you to the northeastern land of Tirupura, where you will immerse in the celebrations of the much-awaited Karchi festival. Involving the worship of 14 gods, the week-long festival is a long royal ritual that attracts thousands of people. Take a look. Every year on the eighth day of the new moon in the month of July, Tripura gets soaked in the colorful celebrations of the famous Karchi festival. Predominantly a tribal festival, it owes its origins to the Hindu religion. Devotees and sadhus across India and Bangladesh participate in it. The rituals of holy event take place at Old Agartala in the premises of Chaturdasha Devta temple. It involves the worshipping of 14 gods that comprise the dynastic deity of the Tripuri community. These deities only have heads and not the whole body. Derived from the word Khya meaning earth, Kharchi festival marks the cleansing of Amapechi, which is the female cycle of the earth goddess. Eholo Amade the Shivungite Amra Mayer Totije Amade Sodha Bhukti Chatake Amra Otut Rekhi Amra Ekane Shamavetu Huchi. On the first day of the festival, the 14 gods are taken from the temple to the river Sedra by the Chantai members. After bathing them in the holy water, they are again brought back to the temple. The deities are then decorated with various flowers and vermilion is put on their foreheads. During the puja ceremony, only the Chantai and royal family are allowed to present as the complete rituals are kept as a religious secret. The administration makes elaborate security arrangements to ensure peaceful celebration of Kharchi. Though the festival customs are completely related to the authentic Tripuri traditions, everyone else is always welcome to enjoy this celebration. We have in एक ही टारगेट है कि सब ठीक ठाक रहे अच्छा रहे हम लोग जो आए हैं इधर हम अच्छे से बिताना चाहते हैं फिर इस जन्म का उस पार जो है उधर के लिए भी प्रार्थना हम करता है कि उधर भी हमको देख के रखो ईश्वर हमको कोई कष्ट दुख ना पहुंचे तुम्हारा ऊपर हमारा जो पूर्ण विश्वास है इसमें हमारा मोती स्थिर रखो as per the legend, the 3000 years old tradition was started by the King Trilochan of Tripura who established the 14 deities and led the Kharchi Puja. Representing the rich culture of Tripura, the Kharchi festival solemnizes with the prayers for well-being of the land and people of the state. India is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. The unity of these myriad faiths can be very well witnessed at the Dargahs of Sufi saints. So today we take you to Dargah of Hazrat Saida Badibua in Ayodhya city of Uttar Pradesh that has been serving as a bridge between different castes and communities. An epicenter of faiths, a place where brotherhood and bond homie between as many religions could be seen flourished and prospered at its best. The Dargah of Hazrat Saida Baribua, situated in Ayodhya city, is one such melange of diversities. Situated in Faizabad, in Ayodhya city, 
the shrine witnesses a rush of devotees throughout the day. Whether one is Hindu, Muslim, Sikh or from any other community, the aroma of the shrine serenades them into cheerfulness and a belief of fulfilment ensues in them. हाँ पर हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हर मजहब के लोग आते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सभी लोग और सबकी मुरादत दुआ मांगते हैं उनकी मुरादत पूरी होती है यहाँ पर जो जितने लोग आते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सब लोग आ रहे हैं और सबकी मुरादें पूरी हो रही हैं और सब लोग की इच्छाएँ यहाँ पर हैं और किसी एक बर का ये नहीं है ये सब का है और ये सब का मनोकामना पूर्ण करती है It is said that Saida was the elder sister of Hazrat Nasiruddin Chirag Diwali, whose darga is situated in New Delhi. Every year, the urs of the saint is celebrated after 15 days of Muharram. It's been said that all the wishes of the devotees get fulfilled, and nobody returns empty-handed from here. Here, Hindu Muslim. हर लोग आते हैं और ख़ास बात यह है कि यहाँ पे जो आपके अयोध्या के महंत संत महंत लोग भी यहाँ पे आते हैं और जो है दिली आस्था रखते हैं यहाँ पे और सबका जो है मन्नत मुराद बहुत दिल से तरह तरह से पूरी होती है दी दरगाह ऑफ हजरत सैदा साहिबा इज़ अ परफेक्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ कम्यूनल हार्मनी दैट इज विटनेस थ्रू आउट दी लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ ऑफ आर कंट्री The solidarity among the different religious communities has remained a hallmark of India's unity since time immemorial. And now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood actors Kajol Devgan and Bobby Deol celebrated the silver jubilee of their action thriller film Gup: The Hidden Truth along with fans in showbiz capital Mumbai. Devgan and Deol said they felt elated. for completing 25 years of the film which many critics believed was much ahead of its time maine kabhi socha hi nahi tha ki kabhi main apni film ka silver jubilee aise celebrate karunga i'm very happy i think all the credit goes to rajiv bhai because he was a man who visioned the whole idea of making gop Directed by Rajiv Rai in 1997, the film featured Deol as the lead character named Sahil, along with Indian actress Manisha Koirala. While Devgan played her first negative role, which made her win several awards, including the prestigious Filmfare. The action thriller explores a murder mystery, while Sahil becomes the prime suspect. The story is about his struggle to find the murderer and prove himself innocent. The music of the film also received widespread appreciation from the audience. Authorities of a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva in India's central Madhya Pradesh state renamed it Rin Mukteswar which means freer of debts after a vagabond kept his dog as mortgage at the temple which was later freed by the temple authorities the temple which was established somewhere between the 8th and 11th century was earlier named Kukramat kitte to ban ja rahe hain kutte ko apna girvi rakh diya raha aur wo kutta यहाँ रहता रहा हम माल गुजाड़ के यहाँ और फिर जब उसके वहाँ चोरी हुआ तो चोर लोग ले जा के तालाब में रख दिए सामान को कुत्ता फिर उसको पकड़ के मालिक को ले गए और बताया तो वो जंग वहाँ से निकाली तालाब से इसके बाद कुत्ता को ऋण मुक्त करके उसको छोड़ दिए कि जाओ तुम अब हमारे यहाँ से ऋण से मुक्त हो गए उसके गले में बांध दिया रहा उसी समय बंजारा लेने के लिए इसी ग्राम में पहुँचा जब वहाँ देखा कि कुत्ता वापसी जा रहा है तो वो फरसा से उसका मोड़ काट दिया है और जब बाद में देखा कि चिट्ठी पड़ा तो उसमें लिखा रहा तो पछताया फिर उसी न, उसी दिन से फिर इसका नाम कुकर्रा मठ हुआ है डेविटीज फ्रॉम ऑल अक्रॉस द कंट्री विजिट द ऋण मुक्तेश्वर टेम्पल विद होप्स ऑफ बिडिंग एदेव टू देयर डेट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू माइथोलॉजिकल बिलीव्स अ वैगा बॉन्ड हु वॉज अनेबल टू पे हिज डेट्स लेफ्ट हिज डॉग एट द टेम्पल एज अ मॉडकेज वाई स्टेइंग एट द टेम्पल प्रमाइस द डॉग विटनेस्ड अ थेफ्ट एंड हेल्प द टेम्पल ओनर टू रिट्रीव द स्टोल एन आइटम्स दिस वॉज वेन द टेम्पल ओनर फ्रीड द डॉग एंड सेंड हिम टू द वैगा बॉन्ड विद अ नोट टाइड अराउंड हिस्स नेक India opened its first publication company dedicated to literature by and about the transgender community in Southern Tamil Nadu state. 
The publication company in southern Madurai city boasts more than 200 books in English and Tamil languages under its banner. The books feature transgender authors and narratives about the transgender community. ஒரு குட்டி லைப்ரரி ஆரம்பித்தோம் அது இன்றைக்கி வளர்ந்து மிகப்பெரிய லைப்ரரியாக இருக்குது கிட்டத்தட்ட இல்லை பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு இரநூறுக்கு மேலே தமிழ் ஆங்கில நூல்கள் இருக்குது வேறு பிற மொழிகள் நூல்கள் இருக்குது ஒரு பத்தாயிரத்துக்கு மேலே செய்தித்தாள் தரவுகள் இருக்குது அது ஒரு மிக முக்கியமான ஒன்று ஏன்னா ஒரே இடத்துல திருநங்கைகள் சார்பாக ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி தொண்ணூறுலேருந்து இப்போ வரைக்கும் ஒரு செய்தித்தாள் தரவுகள் அப்படின்னா இது ஒன்று தான் இங்கே வந்து ஒரு பத்தாயிரத்துக்கு மேலே செய்தித்தாள் தரவுகள் இருக்குது அதே போல் கவர்மெண்டுடைய ஆர்டர்ஸ் இருக்குது சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட்டுடைய தீர்ப்புகள் இருக்குது இப்போ நம்ம நலவாரியம் ஆரம்பித்தாங்க இல்லைங்களா இந்த நலவாரியத்துடைய ஒவ்வொரு ஒரு மீட்டிங் மினிட்ஸ் அழைக்கப்பட்ட தீர்மானங்கள் முடிவுகள் இப்படி பல்வேறு விஷயங்கள் இருக்குது மதுராய் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஹோம் டு தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டிரான்ஸ்ஜெண்டர் ஃபிலிம் கம்பெனி அண்ட் லைப்ரரி Festivals in India not only serve as a temporary reprieve from the daily grind but also play a significant role in promoting communal harmony and brotherhood. This was recently observed on the occasion of Gauri Vrat, a Hindu festival mostly observed in the state of Gujarat where Muslim girls came forward to celebrate it with their Hindu counterparts. Have a look. If we live in our oneness heart, we will feel the essence of all religions, which is the love of God. Forgiveness, compassion, tolerance, brotherhood and the feeling of oneness are the signs of true religion. These words of Sri Chinmoy, India's spiritual leader, seems to have been perfectly understood by these Muslim girls from the Vadodara city of Gujarat, who recently applied heena or mehndi on the hands of more than 151 Hindu girls on the occasion of Gauri Vrat festival. A number of girls participated in this event, which was organized by a trust run by a father-daughter duo Gulab and Nishita Rajput. who have been working for the education of women for the last many years in a unique gesture dry fruits were also distributed among girls observing gauri vrat or fast the trust keeps on organizing such events with an aim to sow seeds of harmony among the students at a young age एवरी ईयर हम जो गौरी व्रत आती है जो छोटी छोटी बच्चियाँ उपवास करती है पाँच दिनों के लिए उनको हमने आज कॉमेडी गार्डन में इकट्ठा हुए और 151 गर्ल्स को हमने ड्राई फ्रूट्स दिया है मुस्लिम गर्ल्स है वो आके आज हमारी हिंदू गर्ल्स को मेहंदी रख रही है सो एक वो लोग मैसेज पास आउट करते हैं यूनिटी का कि उनके अंदर ऐसा कोई भेदभाव नहीं है कि हम हिंदू या मुस्लिम सो बड़ों को भी मैं ऐसा बोलूँगी कि सीखना चाहिए एक यूनिटी का मैसेज है Mainly observed for 5 days, the festival of Gauri Vrat is dedicated to Goddess Parvati and is an important ritual performed by unmarried women and young girls. Legend has it that Goddess Parvati observed this fast to get Lord Shiva as a husband and therefore it is a widespread belief that those who observe Gauri Vrat get an ideal husband. The festival has a great significance in the state of Gujarat and many girls start observing it at a very early age. Aaj yahan pe hum Kamati Bagh mein aaye hain. Wo didi didi Nisha didi ke sab ye gauri vrat rakhte hain ladkiyan. Unko mehndi padhne ke liye aaye hain hum log. Hindu ladkiyon ke liye hota hai. Unko mehndi lagane ke liye hum aaye hain. Bahut khushi ho rahi hai aur unko pasand bhi aa rahi hai mehndi hamari. With such unique initiatives where people of different communities come together to be a part of each other's celebration not only increases the essence of the event but also strengthens the bond of secularism. Festive season in the southern state of Kerala is all about food, local songs, prayers and boat races. a thrilling experience both for the rowers as well as the spectators the backwaters of kerala come to life when hundreds of men row their snake boats head to head with buzzing energy and fervor so today we take you to the alapua district of kerala where the annual champakulam boat race was an absolute treat for locals visitors as well as participants While spices and backwaters are synonymous to Kerala's identity, the name of its famous boat races could not go unmentioned. Organized in the Champakulam village of Alappuzha district of God's own country Kerala, the Champakulam boat race is one of the most awaited events of the state. 
Said to be one of the oldest boat races of the state, the race is organized every year between the months of June and July and is played host by River Pampa. We are very glad that this is a great combination of art, culture and for conducting this Chambakulam boat race. Behind this Chambakulam boat race, there is a great history. Also known as Mulam Vallam Kali, the event witnesses boats over 100 feet in length with raised prows which are also called as snake boats locally. The festivities of the race include spectacular water floats, decorated boats and songs of oarsmen. This year's boat race was won by Champakulam Chundan which was routed by members of the Kerala Police Boat Club. In a time where there was no television, no radio, no WhatsApp, this boat race was a great reunion. Of, there is a cultural reunion, social reunion, and uh, this is being conducted by the government of Kerala in a very uh, appreciable way. And after this reunion, we go back to the Ambalapura temple. Legend goes that the king of Champa Kesari erected a temple in his kingdom after consulting a royal priest. However, during installation, the king was informed that the priest was inauspicious. To make amendments, the king bought Krishna's idol from Karikulam temple as it was believed that this Krishna idol was handed over to Arjuna by Lord Krishna himself. During the journey, the king and his men made a stopover at Champa Kulam. In a bid to honor the sacred event, thousands of boats assembled at the site for celebration. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. NASA drew back the curtain on billions of years of cosmic evolution with the inaugural batch of photos from the largest, most powerful observatory ever launched into space, saying the luminous imagery showed the telescope exceeds expectations. The first full-color high-resolution pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope designed to peer farther than before with greater clarity to the dawn of the universe were hailed by NASA as milestone, marking a new era of astronomical exploration. With Webb finely tuned after months spent remotely aligning its mirrors and calibrating its instruments, scientists will embark on a competitively selected agenda exploring the evolution of galaxies, life cycle of stars, atmospheres of distant exoplanets and moons of our outer solar system. These data are just amazing. I, I think it's fair to say that today we're turning the page. It's a cliche, but it's true. We're turning the page on several new chapters on um, exoplanet, atmosphere, the early, the early universe, star formation, you name it. And we don't even know what we're going to find. It's exciting. All five of Webb's introductory targets were previously known to scientists, but NASA officials said Webb's early imagery proved it works as designed, better than expected, while literally capturing its subjects in an entirely new light. The image of Southern Ring Nebula, for instance, clearly showed the dying stellar object at its center was a binary pair of stars closely orbiting one another. The new Carina Nebula photos exposed contours of its massive clouds never seen before. One of the older galaxies appearing in the background of the photo, a composite of images of different wavelengths of light, dates back about 13.1 billion years. Hologram technology produces 3D visual effect by reflecting light. This holographic image moves three-dimensionally and even shows all the details. Metaverse technology which uses VR virtual reality space for business is attracting attention worldwide. Pepper's Ghost 
反射をして奥の方に映って見えるそれで浮いて見えるようになってますそれを我々はまあ技術的なホログラムとして呼ばせてもらってます空中に浮いたような表現ができるそしてまあこれがあの今コロナ時代なんですけどもあのタッチでちょっと触っていろんなコンテンツを切り替えることによって実際展示できないようなものとかもあのどんどんどんどん見せれるようになってますメタバーステクノロジー uses virtual space businesses and is creating a near future image that can produce movies and TV program. It is attracting eyeballs worldwide. <music> Buenos Aires Art Novia landmark Confiteria del Molino reopened its doors after a four year revamp. The eight floor building was closed down after the National Congress expropriated it in 2014. and decided to give the historic building a second and more modern life a raft of conservation work was carried out on the facade roof and dome where winged lion gargoyles were restored trata de buscar volver a darle ese brillo pero no solo el brillo arquitectónico no solo el brillo de los vitrales de los de los bronces y de la madera sino también el brillo de su historia visitors were eager to see the result as the 8000 available tickets were sold out in 45 minutes from the prince of wales to madonna people delighted themselves inside its stained glasses and marble columns the confectionery first opened in 1916 with the name of el molino it was funded by italian pastry chefs constantino rossi and caetano brano who commissioned the project to the italian architect francesco gianotti The first floor mill in Buenos Aires was placed at the square in front of Confiteria del Molino. In the recent years, the development and usage of drones has increased drastically. The device is attracting attention because it is not only useful for logistics and emergency disaster response, but also for its potential for monitoring remote areas. KDDI is a major Japanese telecommunication company. Its subsidiary Smart Drone Corporation is working hand in hand with the telecommunication firm to develop a system that can control drones in remote areas. The establishment of this system will reduce the time taken and will cut down the cost of management and inspection. Wireless 通信を使ってドローンを制御する、そしてそのためのシステムというのを作っています。でまあ、何ができるようになるかといいますと、まあ、例えば今回のように東京にいながら千葉にいながらですね全く違う県には遠くにあるようなドローンを遠隔で制御できるようになるというところをですねあのそういったサービスを構築をしています建設現場の進捗管理ですとか点検というところをですねそういったところではですねあの普段人をどこも送り込んでというところでかなり人手もかかるし時間もコストもかかっているところをですね現地にドローンを設置してそれを巡視するような形にすれば精進化サービスというのが実現できるというところで検討していますそれ以外にもですねあの自然災害発生した時の監視ですとかインフラの監視あとは河川だとか湾岸の監視にも使えるというふうに思っています。The deregulation of drones and further improvements in the technology is encouraging more companies to enter the fields of disaster management and logistics but others as well. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia@anin.com. I'm your host Uzma and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Number 1 multicultural channel. This is Tag TV.